Okay. So we're doing the card sorting exercise. Where one? Hmm? I know, but he'll come back soon. They already finished. Uh, we have um, the onset page and the student page. So the next step is that we should write the top categories up here. So the group that worked on the onset page, can you please write your top categories here? And if you only have three, then write three. If you have four, write four. Could somebody come up and write the top categories? You're not writing the sub stuff, just the top categories. Let us tell you or? No, write the top categories in here. Here? Yeah. There's a. I'm not sure I can get all that in. Yeah, write small. <laughs> uh, can I just use the. I'm, I'm just going to shorten it. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. And then this stuff has to be on, everything has to be on a separate card. So you can't put them all together. Okay? okay you have to put everything on a separate card. Yeah, I'm not sure you can read this. Okay. I must use the I'm just for the answer. Nyheter fra Himmelde Og så veiledningsskjema her borte Vi kunne ha vært sånn som dette Og ja, vi har bare tre, vi har ikke fått noe Ok, det er fint Ok Ok, så det er... Ja Thank you. Okay, you can go back to your group. Okay, can the other group please come up and write your top categories up here? We have uh, four students for student. We have resources for students. We have news and we have what's happening. Okay, so now <coughs> I would like uh, this group to give your white cards to that group and vice versa. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> now, <coughs> this. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll start with you. <coughs> okay, you can come up and place the information you find here under these categories. Mm -hmm. 
so you can write like the information if it's you feel it goes under here write it here if you feel it goes under here write it here and so forth so <coughs> yeah Yeah, you can share and each do some if you want. Mm. And actually, I mean, you can do this at the same time. So your group, you can also place those under these categories. There's a bit of indecision here. There's a lot of bumps over kind of. Yeah, that's the point, but just make a decision and yeah. put the I mean, it, it, it doesn't mean that you have to get it correct. <laughs> for students and resources for students. Exactly. So you have a harder time because you see that there's two categories that are the same. And the, these two categories are almost the same. So you have a hard time. But uh, just, just come up and write a few of them. 
ぼすぐ吸ってきてもやらないとだってたマイクロスコピックライティングカテゴリーズ、リソースフォーアンサッツ、ダブスヒア、ニュー、ニュー、ニハトファーヒモルダー、ニューズワン、ニューオーソチューズ、ヴェイレディング、スチューデント、アンナショウユーガタトンフォン。You just, the other top category, where did you pick it from? Is it something down here or? Uh, one of the blue. Uh, um, which one? To、uh, the right. To the right. Uh, uh, under resources for.、Um, under resources. Under resources for employees?、Mm -hmm. The blue ones? Under here? To the left. To the left?、Uh, under here. Oh, yeah, okay.、Um, oh, the graphics. The profit on book. It's about,、uh, yeah, <laughs> <that> . <laughs> this one. Yeah. <coughs> so, this one you said is, is this one? Really? <laughs> okay. This is v e i l e n i n g student. <laughs> And that's what you call the o n s e t portal. No, you can't. If you click on it, you see、uh, it's a、uh, different information for.、Uh, Employees, how you employees, yeah, yes, yes, but what does it have to do with the bay lighting student? It's not for students, no, for sure.、Uh, it says, um, bay lighting shema, bay lighting shema. I don't see anything for students here. No, it's not, it doesn't say students up there. It says Belen and Shema.、Uh, oh, I thought that said students. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Shema. Okay. Yes. So then they actually picked the right thing to put under here. Yeah. And then there was.、Um, do you think、uh, this grouping was correct, basically? 
Yeah. Um. Uh, it's it's difficult to read. Um, meetings, bookings, economy, personnel, steer it, on satsuk is searching. Uh, <coughs> research for be stunned. Uh, other news. Searching for good students. That I mean, that seems okay. But <coughs> when you did this one for students, this is the student side. You had a more difficult time in grouping things because they chose top categories that were very similar. And why did you pick those ca top categories? From what novella, we had to pick something. <laughs> but maybe, because, did you find them in different places? Yeah. Because this is the resources. Yes. And for students. Yes. Yes. This. Yes. That's so the, the thing is that the information is actually spread out all, all over the page. It's not in one place. And you can have resources for students down here. And you can have resources for students over here or over there. So it's in different places. And maybe that's a problem. Maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but can make it difficult for you to know where to look for this information. And that, that can be a problem if you're not sure about uh, how do you get a meeting room or something like that, or uh, how, do you, um, how do you get advising? And, and you're not really sure where exactly you should look on the page. So this is, this is a reflection or an evaluation of how the page was designed. And you can see that based on your difficulty in locating where to put these things, that maybe this was, this is, could be a weakness in the page. Or, yeah. Um, <coughs> okay, so, yes. Um, but do you get the main idea of how to use card sorting? And uh, we'll just then uh, continue that this is one way of testing ideas. Another way is to use prototypes and that is to design something like your web page is going to look, test it out on a user group and see how they like it and <coughs> you can do the same sort of uh, exercise with a system that's not active already. Okay. <coughs> um, if we go to the next uh, part, they talk about uh, communication. And there's different ways to communicate your idea. They suggest metaphor metaphors. There's different kinds of metaphors that can be used. Organizational metaphor would be at, uh, um, allowing users to um, make use of experiences they're familiar with. Like, so a metaphor for a web page for a car dealer might be organized like uh, you would have it in when you're visiting a car dealer. Maybe there's different uh, areas for used cars, new cars, and for repairs and for ongoing uh, maintenance. So <coughs> they can also think about this in terms of expressing the idea of the structure to other people. A functional metaphor is, uh, has to do with uh, a task, like if you're going to a library, you're searching for a book, the uh, browsing system for the library's website may, look at, may have something to do with the same concept of searching for a book on a bookshelf. And then the visual metaphor is to make use of familiar uh, visual elements like colors or the way things look. So you might use a telephone book, a booth, or a, um, uh, to, to identify when you're looking up somebody's telephone number, a uh, yellow background to suggest that it's a public direct directory. 
And uh, they say don't take the metaphors too far because it may not work when you actually try to implement it on the web page. Uh, the other ways of communicating are to develop scenarios or situations where users can um, try out a site in a certain interaction, maybe in purchasing uh, flowers from a website or, uh, or creating a a card and just bringing them through as a different a certain specific scenario another uh, version of scenarios or case studies where you look at different maybe past cases of what worked and what didn't work and then uh, conceptual diagrams are figures or uh, that are used to convey information and meaning the same way that you would have a diagram in a book that's supposed to uh, help you understand a concept better. Uh, conceptual diagrams can be used to understand the concept of, of a layout of the web page better. And another uh, approach is to use uh, blueprints. Blueprints are <coughs> to show the relationship between the pages and other components on the website. And then the wireframes are visuals that show the basic outline of how the page is uh, going to look. And um, uh, there's a lot of different uh, approaches for creating uh, blueprints and wireframes, which we're, are talked about more in chapter 12 than in this chapter. Uh, this is a picture of a conceptual diagram, and it's, uh, it's uh, showing how the employee views company information ecology. So this, this might show how an employee makes use of different type of information, and they use email the most, so that <coughs> cloud is the biggest. And they use other things like special applications less, so those clouds are smaller. So this might be, it's a, it's a visual, uh, presentation of how a user might use information as organized on the website and they might uh, decide to place the link to email in a more prominent location because it's used more often so it's 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 uh, it, information for the site designers to help them understand how they should organize the information So we were talking about this process, I will go back to this page, uh, that the deliverables of this process should be a strategy report, a strategy presentation, and project plan for design. So <coughs> the strategy report is the written report where you uh, should outline the tough decisions uh, you should be able to summarize in one page what are the main goals of the website that you're designing. And uh, this is for the top executives that don't have time to read the whole report. So you should really get the main points in, uh, the, the main uh, goals and the main recommendations. And then this is the audience uh, mission and vision. Uh, so you should outline who you're designing it for, what is the mission and goal of the design of the website. So this is not the mission and vision of the whole company, but the design of the site that you're, you're creating. And then there should be a, a section that's on page 282. Okay, uh, this shows uh, the lessons learned. And if you look at the uh, table on page 282 and 283, it outlines, for example, for the weather.com website, how they made observations and conclusions and implications for the site designers. So the op observations were broken down into the local organization and content the general organization and content, the navigation system, the labeling, and the features. So in each of these main areas, they make some observations of how it functions today. And then they make conclusions about 
uh, what needs perhaps to uh, um, how it's being used, whether it's good, whether it's bad, and then the, the implications for the site architecture means how it should be changed or improved. So they're just looking at each of these elements in this in the uh, information architecture design that are the most the main level elements, which is how do you organize the content, how is the general organization working, how is the navigation working, how is the labeling working, and how are the features working. And um, <coughs> add to this, they, they usually have a section for architectural strategies and approaches. And this is where you can include uh, blueprints or wireframes. And there's some pictures of these also in the book, figures 11, 9, 10, and 11 in the book. And they show um, the blueprint is a, is, there's different, depending on your strategy, whether it's a local strategy or a broad strategy, you have uh, how different elements link together, the main pages link together, visual for that. And then um, an example of the wireframe, like in figure 10, 11 on page 285. Uh, that is um, showing you basically where you're putting the different elements on the web page. So there's um, this uh, figure on page uh, 285 has a point where it says um, it has an A and a B. And the A is pointing to the entry, city, state, and zip code in a search window. And the B is pointing to um, something on the side that says different regions of the country, like Central, East Coast, or whatever. This is for the weather uh, website. And then if you go back to this um, lessons learned table, which is on page 282, that describes, uh, I'm sorry, it's on, the, the, it, it's on page 283, there's an elements table, which describes each of the elements in the wireframe. That's on page, uh, this figure 1110. So if you go to the wireframe on, pic on figure 1110, uh, there's a description on page 283 that describes the elements in this wireframe. So they create a table which describes where all of the things go. And they say that this uh, section of the report usually takes up a fair amount of space because you're describing where the elements are in the, in the figure. Okay, and they have, um, for example, they have code A is city, state, zip code, and so forth. And they have a description for that. Uh, searching for local weather needs to be at the very top of the page. It should be prominent and obvious if our users will ignore it. So they decided this search window has to be at the top of the page, or the search elem this element A. And then they said the implications is that the access to the local weather should, have, should be through a prominent search box and browsing via a map or a links. So that's why they have located it at the top of the page in the figure on figure 1110. So I can't show you that, but um, <coughs> you can uh, look. Maybe I have it on the next slide. I'm not sure. No, I don't. No. So <coughs> you need to uh, to look at that to, to see the difference. And then the content management has to do with, uh, this could be the rules for managing the content and who, who is responsible for each of these. Um, types of content, uh, resources, templates, metadata, and the source. So this goes into the more specific rules um, and roles and details about uh, how the content of the site is going to be managed. And this can be just a, a description of each of, in each of these sections that will relate to this architecture. So all of these uh, pieces should be part of the strategy report. And then you have uh, the project plan, which is um, 
this is more detailed about uh, the scheduling of, of how this is going to actually happen. So uh, how long is it going to take and who's going to work on what and what is the amount of, what is the timeline, who's, which teams are going to work on what and what are the budgets for each of these for the design stage. So this will be the step that's needed to actually go from the strategy to the design. And then the presentation has to be given to different groups, top level executives, uh, maybe those that are going to be involved in um, working with the technology because the gap analysis identified that you have to uh, change some of the technology that's being used. And also it could be uh, with different user groups. So those that are creating content need to know what the plan is. So you need to be able to devise uh, presentations that will present the key points of the strategy report to the different groups that need to use it. Um, <clears throat> although we're going to not talk about chapter 12 today, I think I have a picture of this. Yes, this is the weather sites uh, page. And this was uh, taken, also, this was figure 1110. And so this is pointing out the A and the B that I was talking about. So here's a search uh, box and these are different, this is a map and these are different links to the map. And they decided in, the, in their design, let's see. On page uh, 283, that uh, this is the how they describe the lettered callout in the wireframe that includes a textual explanation of the different elements in the wireframe. So this is a wireframe of how the site would be, the basic, the basic structure, and then you would fill it in with information later. But uh, it basically would look this would be the structure. And they decided that A should be at the top of the page, otherwise people will, will ignore it. And B is find the local weather uh, search map. And um, they say users can click and browse for local weather uh, links next to the search box. And so they're describing why they have uh, put it there and what the implication of putting it there is. It's the same. Uh, the access to the local weather should be through prominent search box and browsing via maps or links. So the, this is adhering to the user group that needs to have access to their local weather. And they might have other reasons <laughs> for developing different sections of the site. And they would need to also describe this uh, in this uh, call out table that would describe the elements in the wireframe. So if you were doing something uh, for the school's website, there was uh, this place for resources and this place for news. And they would describe why they would have this section for resources, why it's located, where it's located, and how, how the users would use, make use of it. And what are the implications for that? Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, last slide for chapter uh, 11 that I have. And that um, you should um, spend time on seeing what would go into the strategy report. So that would be. Um, important to understand the different, uh, they, they give you an example of this weather site. And the other thing I wanted to uh, point out was, and we'll go through this more next time when we talk about chapter 12, which is design, but there is a resource page, design tools and resources. And <clears throat> this has examples of things that you might make use of like, um, uh, it has different kinds of examples of wireframes that you can look at. 
and it helps you to be able to uh, model or design your own. You could take a look at those. And there's different various um, uh, presentations on the different tools that are used in content management and in information architecture and designing your web page. So this is called the Information Architecture Institute and there's a lot of uh, free resources here that you could take a look at. So that link is available um, in the last uh, page of this chapter's presentation. Even though it's, <coughs> we'll be talking about chapter 12 next time, you could still take a look at it today and then uh, we may make reference to some of this the next time. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, as far as we're gonna get today in chapter 11, we're finished. And then next uh, week we'll talk about chapter 12 and we'll see how far we get if I get to chapter 13 or not. And I'll be looking for your uh, assignments on Fronter and I'll post the uh, working groups for the next assignment on Fronter as well. Okay, thank you.